Hello Aquarius and welcome to your June 2019 mid-month reading. This is for Aquarius. What is going on with Aquarius? What is going on with Aquarius? If this resonates with you Aquarius, please like, share, and subscribe and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Aquarius, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Aquarius out there. Please keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Aquarius. For June 2019, for their mid-month reading, this is for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius. What is going on here with Aquarius? What is going on? Okay. Wow. So communication, communication, communication. All right. So I got Libra here. I got you here. Got fire here. The hangman here. Got a lot going on here. A lot of major arcana here. Earth here. All right, so I'm going to read the energies of the cards. So if the sign of the person that you are dealing with or have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, then all the better, right? Um, keep in mind that time is fluid and um, some of these energies can be vice versa or or interchangeable so you are, I feel like this is kind of you um, you know what you want but there's not much you can do communication needs to happen I feel like um, this is a very self-sacrificing energy you're waiting on so you're definitely waiting on communication here Aquarius for real okay um, I do feel like you want an apology from someone and again this can be vice versa um and you're just kind of seeing what's going to happen you're, you're not um reaching out clearly because your your arms are behind your back and you're not making any moves here you're not making any moves you want this situation to move forward i feel like you want this person to reach out to you but you yourself are not making any moves all right, so the situation, hearing from someone, communication, passionate communication, page of wands, this is fire, energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That is the situation. We're waiting on communication. Is it going to come? Is it going to come? I feel like it is. I do. The challenge, I feel like decisions I feel like uh, karmic lessons, and I feel like apologies, okay? That is the challenge here. Um, getting a balance between you and this person, it's like, it's, it's not, you see those Libra scales right there? It was not balanced before, and now you have withdrawn, and now you're keeping your hands to yourself with this hangman energy, right? I feel like, yes, you would, this is the next card um, behind the hangman. You would like a reunion here. You would like to celebrate and spend time with this person. But not making any moves. Maybe waiting on an apology. Definitely. Communication for sure, right? What is this person going to do? It's like you're saying, what is your move? I've done, I've done, I've put in the effort. I've put in the work. I've said the things that I needed to say. Now, what are you going to do? What is your move? That's, it's, it's like that's what you're saying to this person. Because you're shh, withdrawn. Um, the advice, three of pentacles. So this is, you know, let's work on things together. Okay. I do feel like this person is going to come back around. I do feel like uh, there could be a partnership here. Um I feel like right now there is some watching from a distance. Maybe you're watching them. Maybe they're watching you, that kind of thing. Um, but I feel like working together. Um, this could be somebody that you work with or, or, or 
no, like or school or something like that, right? So the advice is work on it. If, if this is what you want, then let's work on it. You know, maybe this person needs to put in effort because I do feel like it was a very one-sided type energy. So this is a partnership. This is working together, right? Three of Pentacles. This is Earth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The focus is back and forth communication, right? It, it's almost like you were putting in all the effort to make this thing happen, and they were just like, oh, okay, well, I'll call you when I call you kind of thing. You know what I mean? So it needs to be back and forth. It needs to be balanced. It needs to be equal. Um, and I do believe that the communication is most definitely the focus here. This person could live at a distance from you. Uh, this is very fast moving energy. You could have met them on the internet and all that kind of stuff, right? Eight of wands here. This is fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's almost like you were always the one reaching out. You were always the one trying to make plans. You were always the one, you know, putting in all this effort. And they were just like, oh, okay, you know. So now it's like you have withdrawn from that and you're, you're kind of putting your hands behind your back. Yeah, you still want to be involved with this person. You'd still like it to work out here. But are they going to put in the effort that they need? If there's an apology needed, are they going to po apologize for just kind of, and I want to say, you know, maybe sometimes like blowing you off or, you know, just kind of disappearing or, or something like that. Um, the outcome is the star card. So this is you all over the place. This is a lot of healing energy here. This is wish fulfillment. I do feel like you're going to hear from this person and it may be um, passionate communication, um, could be an apology here, but this is faded. This is destined. The stars are aligning here. And I do feel, you know, that you will hear from this individual. And I do feel that it is going to be a wish fulfillment for you. And I do feel you are going to heal from this situation, Aquarius. Okay. So let's. Clarify that. Let's clarify the star card here for Aquarius. What is going on here with Aquarius? What is going on here? Yeah. And then we have the Empress here. Right? So this is Libra Taurus energy. So this is the potential for a new beginning. Very slow moving, um, I want to say. But it's like, it's, it's growth. So we're going to nurture it. It's, it's like we're going to take our time with it. And it, we're going to see what develops here. Right? Because this person has been wishy-washy, back and forth, undecided, doing the juggling act. And it's causing, you know, it's, it, like I said, it's, it's, it's a lot of back and, back and forth. Right? I mean... One minute they're in it, the next minute they're not. One minute they're in it, the next minute they're not. It's kind of like that energy. Two of Pentacles here. This is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So I do see that you have kind of withdrawn from this person and you're going to allow them to come to you. And I do feel like that is going to happen. And I do see growth here in this situation. The potential for a new beginning. Should you choose. Now this could be a decision this could be a decision that you're going to have to make because the Two of Pentacles is all about trying to decide if we're going to um, allow this person this potential new beginning. But they, I do feel like they have been undecided back and forth. But it's going to come in when you least expect it. So expect the unexpected here, Aquarius. That card keeps popping up. Um, so I do see the potential to work together. But that is the key thing. Let's work together. You're not going to do this whole thing by yourself. You're not, you know, and I think that's why you have withdrawn from this person. So let's see what the romance angels have to say for you, Aquarius, for June 2019. Mid-month reading, this is for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius for June 2019. For their mid-month reading, this is for Aquarius. 
Yes, this is for Aquarius. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Wow. Wow. And then we have playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So this is definitely saying um, there, there needs to be a lighter energy here. Maybe this other person was trying to like control the narrative, to control like the communication, to control the effort that was involved here. And Aquarius, you know, I, you have stepped back from this situation to allow this person to come to you. And I think that is your best bet, right? Um, because it was, it could have been like too much too soon for this person. But I do feel like things are going to get playful again between the two of you. There is going to be potential new beginnings here but it's i feel like it's going to go slower it's going to be a slower process and maybe that's your best bet here but we it's like you have to allow the other person to come towards you okay because it was not balanced it was not equal here okay so definitely got to like go with the flow of the situation and i think the other person needs to too I mean, they, I feel like they need to kind of step up, step up the effort, you know, if this is what they want. And I feel like it's going to, um, unexpected communication is going to come in. So if that's, you know, communication is what you're wanting, then I do believe that is most definitely going to happen. Apologies, right? All right, Aquarius, that is your June 2019 mid-month reading. I hope you have enjoyed it. I have had quite a few technical difficulties that we've been dealing with this week on top of trying to get ready for our road trip. <laughs> so it's been nuts. Um, but I will keep you posted and I'm going to try to get as much content out as I possibly can for you all. So um, yeah, it's been a wild week over here. I hope you have enjoyed your reading, um, Aquarius, communication coming in, possibly apologies. Um, so expect the unexpected, right? Go with the flow. Just go with the flow. That's all I can tell you. All right. You guys have a great week, and I will talk to you soon, okay? God bless.